name is Terry Voigt, Low Voltage Applications Engineer here at Toshiba International Corporation. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to set up and program your Toshiba drive. Thanks for watching and let's get started. Today, I will be showing you how to calibrate the analog output terminals on a Toshiba G9 drive. To get everything set up, we want to make sure we have the correct equipment. I will be using a digital multimeter along with a Toshiba G9 drive. Next, we want to make sure everything is connected correctly. We want to make sure that the positive lead is connected to the FM terminal and the negative lead is connected to the CCA terminal. Next, we need to program the drive. To do that, we need to push our mode button until we get into the program screen. Then scroll down to the terminal entry. Then select the analog output terminals. Next, what we need to do is make sure that the FM output is set up correctly. It can be configured to output a 0 to 20 milliamp signal or also a 0 to 10 voltage signal. We want to leave it on 0 to 20 milliamps. Next, we need to set our bottom end. To do that, we need to set the FM biased adjustment parameter to make sure that when the drive is running at 0 hertz, we want to make sure our meter display reads 4 milliamps. Normally, this is around 20%, but really what we're looking for is that meter display to read 4 milliamps. Once we have that set, we need to set our high end. To do that, we need to go back out to our main screen by pushing the escape button, set the drive into local mode by pushing the local remote button, and then set our frequency up to 60 Hz. Once we have our frequency at 60 Hz, we can push the run button, and the drive will ramp up to 60 Hz. Now to calibrate that top end, we need to push the mode button to get back into our program screen. Go back into terminal, go back into analog output terminals, and now we are looking for the FM output terminal adjustment parameter. And really what we're looking for here is when the drive is running 60 hertz, we want that meter to display 20 milliamps. Once we have that set, we want to make sure that our middle is calibrated. So let's push our escape button to go back out to our main screen. Set the drive to a frequency of 30 hertz. And really what we're looking for here is that meter display to read 12 milliamps while the drive is running 30 hertz. make sure that's around 12 milliamps then what we want to do is make sure that our bottom end is still set so we need to push our stop button to slow the drive down to 0 hertz make sure that our meter still displays 4 milliamps and we should be good so I've shown how to calibrate it on a G9 drive the same procedure will work on any other 9 series drive any 7 series drive an AS1 and also an S11 Thanks for watching Toshiba's drive application video. If you need any more help, please contact ASD Tech Support at the information below. Again, this is Terry. Thanks for watching.